Isekai time! Isekai, Isekai! So, hello everyone, Monday. Time for, of course, 100. I'm, I'm standing on 100 lives. That's a good session. Yeah. Um, 100 man no Inochi. Ino, inoshi no Ue ni Ore wa Tate Iru. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's. Um, uh, this is Isekai. I don't feel it's the best Isekai. It's not Konasuba, you know, it's no, it's no Aqua in there. <laughs> no, but really, though, I, I think actually the biggest issue I have is anime. If I'm gonna be truthful, honestly, probably the biggest issue, arguably. There's no really like super waifu material. I mean, the, the blonde girl, you know, this is the main girl, I feel. She's pretty hot and so on, right? But no, you know, yeah, but like, there's, there's no Aqua, there's no darkness, you know. No, but honestly, like, for example, I mean, we have done Mancha today. I don't know if it's an Isekai, but that Mancha is kind of an Isekai, right? Because it's like, that Mancha is a fantasy anime, but they have levels, they have game rooms, right? They have dungeons, so it's very gamey, right? So it feels very Isekai adjacent, okay? Isekai adjacent. That's kind of, <laughs> I coined that, that Isekai adjacent, okay? But anyway, obviously in that Mancha, you have like Bestia, you know, she's best with this size. You know, you have Hamafura, you have the new Vinshan, you even have Lily, you know, it's a very waifu anime, right? And of course, you have Aisha and Ryu, so they have the, the baby Amazon right there. So they, it's like, it's a like goddamn, it's, it's a horror anime with so many hot babes right there. Amazing, you know, uh, female character. She's from like a physical, but also character. I mean, some of them are really good, written, I feel, and have great characterizations and they're funny and they're bad and so on, right? For example, right? Um, takes some other isekai. Uh, okay, uh, you know I love Seiya right there, and they start there, freaking awesome, yeah, like freaking awesome goddess, almost on aqua level, right? Uh, Small isekai, shield hero, of course, Rathalia, you know, badass, you know, furry and so on, yeah. So I feel this anime here, honestly, yeah, it, I mean, he's, it's like, clearly he is in a horror, right? And the girls aren't like bad, they aren't bad characters, but they aren't like super, like, yeah, I don't feel that the female characters in anime are bad, but, but they're not also like super impressive either. I'm not like, wow, this is a super hot badass waifu. Like, no, none of them are my wife of the season, yeah. Like, they're not, they're not close to being my wife of the season. Not, not none of them. Like, they're, like, they're very average, I feel. Yeah, that's probably where I feel this anime is probably the most, like, you know, isekai, uh, how to say it, isekai average king. Because, yeah, like, the actual premise that they're dying at back and so on and his bad powers, that's like fine, yeah. But it's probably actually the female cast. Not necessarily. Not only how they act, but mostly how they look, I guess. Because I do, I do have to admit that, that I definitely, I mean, I admit that, but obviously, you know, I love Monster Musume and so on. You know, I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, Monster Musume, Monster Girls, you know, Furry Girls and so on. Yeah, like Elves and... Elves are pretty, I guess, pretty generic, but you know what I mean. You know, Amazon Chicks and, you know, Half Dragon Ladies and so on. Yeah, that's my shit, right? So I guess, I guess that way, when I watch that Isekai, I, I would prefer if the girls were you know, monster girls, so maybe they would transform into like, uh, you know, half human, half dragon or something when they level up or something, I don't know, but yeah, or, you know, like Rimaru, you know, slime, very, one of my favorite guys, love, you know, Rimaru, he's, he has horror, he's, you know, Goblin Shan, and he's, you know, dra half dragon girls, and yeah, they're all, you know, demon girls, yeah, they're all hot, you know, monster girls, so, that's probably, I feel, the boring thing here, honestly, think about it, I've been talking about it before, honestly, after sort of this reaction here, but yeah, it's like, the girls are, f I like the backstories, I like when they have these flashbacks and so on, but they're all just very generic humans. And there's a thing too, like they're all kind of boring too, because, I mean, not, not personality wise, but like you know, physically wise, right? Like the blonde girl, she's very hot, but she has like a typical, very generic, you know, mage, you know, oh, I'm a wizard of a mage, I have like a hat and I have this thing, and it's very, very plain, yeah. They're not very high on the appeal factor. Uh, honestly, so how, I mean, think about it though, he leveled up to become a chef, so maybe they get better clothes when they level up though, in the promotion or something. Anyway, let's start watching it, but I just realized it now, I was like, man, this anime is pretty good, it's not the best, it's not my favorite anime, but honestly, yeah, the female, not just how they look, but also generally, they, they kind of like, they kind of plain, yeah, they kind of like, yeah, it's kind of generic, and that's probably what I feel is most generic, actually. Not so much the premise, but more how they actually, and he, he's also very generic, but he's like a typical main character, so it's also generic. But anyway, three, two, one, and go. What do you guys think? I think that's true, though. Like, even though I like this blonde girl here, and she has this backstory, and, you know, she has some... Yeah, and she has this... They laughed at her death last week, something like that. That's like a weird thing. Her father was like, oh, yeah, she died, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, she even did stuff. Okay, that's sad. So this is interesting. So, I mean... Again, I think that... I think she has, like, an interesting backstory. Yeah, she was being bullied, and... 
But she was ugly apparently. I don't know. But the, the, her, her dad is like, oh yeah, she died. That was funny. Yeah. But was she bullet though? She's like a blonde? She's... Yeah, she's like a... Oh yeah. Her family is a kind of it's a kind of delinquent. So it's like But apparently she had friends. So she wasn't that lonely though because her friends protecting her from the evil senseis. Yeah, so they were like, no. But apparently her family was all delinquent and Yankees or something. But she's a very, you know, look she looks like a typical. Yeah, and she was on a young bloody girl, right? So. Then I became Isekai. <laughs> like, I had my dream of becoming, you know, a proper Yankee guy or girl. I was gonna be some delinquent that was gonna fail. And then I met, then I turned into an Isekai. And then I met a cute boy and so on. So that was pretty good. But like I said, I like her backstory. This episode is even better than that. But she, you know, and she's a Yankee kind of character, a gal, so obviously I like in that sense. But I wish she would turn into a cat. I mean, I'm honest, I wish she turned into a cat girl. I, I don't know. It seems like uh, it's, it's one thing that she has. Woo, here we go. Hand holding. Oh my god, they're falling in love. Hand holding. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, she's hand holding him. Man, she. That's op opening deal. But she. And all the other girl, all the girls are like, <laughs> she's not like, oh, come on, that's generic and lame. <laughs> yeah, Megana is like, oh, come on, we all have a sad backstory. You think you're better than me? <laughs> yeah, she did pretty pissed off more. I mean, you know, Sword Girl, Warrior Girl is like, Warrior is like, that's a sad backstory. I feel for her. And the other girl is like, <laughs> you think that's sad? <laughs> I had sad life too, you know, yeah, she... She was quite uh, unimpressed by it. She was like, <laughs> dead friends? I killed my parents. She was like, yeah, she gave, kind of gave that look there. But yeah, there's one more girl coming, right? It's like a, it's a kind of night girl coming to give in the opening. <sighs> but that's what I mean, though, right? I hope you don't take it the wrong way with my intro there. But I mean, I like, especially as I mentioned, you know, gal, girl, you know, I like her backstory. But she looks also very, very plain with this clothing. I wish she would have, you know, other... And I don't mean necessarily, you know, that she has to show her, you know, skin or something. I just mean that she would have some kind of more badass, you know. Yeah, I mean, I guess the point is that they are very, very warrior generic. They're very like, you're a warrior, you're a mage, you're a priest. That is, you know what I mean. So, but for example, it looks like Dragon Crown, right? Something like that. Yeah, they have, you know. <laughs> no, that would tell you what I mean. That you can be a mage, but you can have, you know, like a non very, very generic mage look. So I think that's. I think what I said is the correct though, even though, as I mentioned, I'm not talking about the, the actual character's personality and so on, to some extent. I'm not talking about the actual physical appearance, right? Like, it's, the, that it's not very flashy, yeah, it's very non flashy it's very, very down-to-earth. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I guess I guess by now, you watch some of the isekais, you're used to the character being a little more, you know, oh, I want to take damage, so... You're used to you know, them being crazy, I guess. I guess you're used to it, I got that, my shoulders hurt. Uh, it's shoulder pain after like a week now, it's pretty annoying. But yeah. Mm. So doing this shit hurts, but whatever. <sighs> yeah, they're like, look at those guys, they're clearly adventurers. Yeah, look at them, they have... Yeah, they cause heroes. Cliche. Yeah, she's just pissed off, he's like, I hate this shit. This is so generic. I mean, a generic isekai. I, I wanna go home again. <laughs> she seems to be pissed off having to be in an isekai, yeah. Oh. Every damn anime is like this. See, so, I mean, yeah, again, her personality is pretty good, but, yeah, they look very cliche. Like she said, they look very, very cliche. I prefer if she was like, you know, I don't know. I, I, it's not just about being furry, but you know what I mean. Like, just uh, the warrior weapons and the looks and everything. Okay, it's a map for the continent. Oh, it's like far away, though. Yeah, it's no desired continent. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was good. Like, oh. <laughs> like... 30 days travel? Holy shit! Though. <sighs> Can we have your cart or something? It's not even a horse, I don't know what they call it in horse in English. Yeah, it's like, doesn't he have like a lizard thing? Doesn't he have some kind of animal? Oh. 
Oh, it's a Mosh Law tournament. <laughs> now it's going very. <laughs> you can fight this much. You can win a horse or something. Three horses though. So one has to ride and save with the boy though, I guess. Yeah. Unless I guess you could get two girls, but they won't be as cute if they're. Couldn't they do something else than doing martial art tournament? I don't know, it feels very... They're like, oh, a martial art tournament between you win a horse. But couldn't they? That feels very gamey. They're like, we need a horse. Oh, it happens to be a tournament next door for a horse. Couldn't it be something like, you could either fight in the tournament or you could just make money by, you know, I don't know, killing monsters, yeah. No, 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 we have the tournament next door. Yeah, we run if they call monsters. I like how she hates being here. She's like, oh, yeah, these people are useless. She's realizing that they are really bad being adventurers. <laughs> we will ambush them. What? They are humans, I guess. They're not. Yeah. They're just humans. They're actual. They're some kind of bandits, I guess. And they are like, heroes! Let's kill them! Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> So can they kill humans? What? <laughs> the owner point! Oh yeah! Rag down! <laughs> you can't hurt them! Man, this is so stupid. This is what I like. This is more good for the anime though. That you can't fight the evil humans. But they are fighting us! I guess they know that, the bandits? I guess the bandits know that. <laughs> They're here. You can't fight us. Yeah. They gotta get punished by the game master. That seems really stupid though, like you can't fight Yeah, they are like, they're gonna get some fun time with her, right? Yeah, gonna go, it's gonna go hentai now and He's like, we can't save her though, I mean If you fight the, yeah <laughs> He's like, we can't help her, come on, we can't fight them anyway Let them have some fun with her, yeah, let them have some fun with her, right? Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, man let me just have some fun, you know. It's like, yeah, it's gonna go good for her. And well, she had her whole life, she had her whole backstory there. But friendship is what's important. <laughs> He's like, whatever. <laughs> friendship? Nah. Friendship, friendship. No, no, no. We can't fight them anyway. But yeah, this is my life in the anime, though, because it's so stupid. I mean, it's stupidly good. It's like, you can't fight humans, but they're fighting you. How, how, who will make this game? I mean, yeah, it's like a really bad game, right? You, you get attacked by humans, but you can't fight them. Like, look at like something, I don't know, World of Warcraft, okay, you know, in World of Warcraft you can't, you can these days, but you couldn't, you could, I guess, but you would get this dishonorable honor if you, if you fight someone, you know, like a normal shopkeeper, that's right, but you could fight, you know, humans as long as they were, weren't, you know, part of like a normal village, right, you could fight, you know, a random, you could fight like a miner or whatever, you know, it's an evil, you know, some kind of, you know, evil corporation, right, but you can't go and like fight the normal civilians, right. But this here, you can't fight the bandits, even though they're clearly not following the human systems, the rules and laws. Yeah, she's like, but no, but she's gonna get hurt. We have to save her because of her, you know, maiden honor. He's the worst person ever. He's a complete douchebag. He's useless. <laughs> yeah, he's like freaking perfect. Get, get, that's this guy. He's an annoying bastard! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the girls are gonna save the girl. It makes, it makes sense though. They're like, no, we can't let her be allowed with this shit. Well, because you decided to save the girl though. So he's not gonna have a good horror. I'm like, man, this guy doesn't wanna have a horror. And he's like, I don't wanna save the cute blonde girl. He doesn't wanna save her! <laughs> but he's like, oh, I don't want to save the girl, you, you can go and do that shit, yeah. He's not trying to get a girlfriend, he's a, he's a true, he's not a man of culture, he's not, he's not using the, the easy card to get, to get, you know, get smashing, no. He's like, screw that, screw that woman, she, she can save herself. I don't want to lose my XP, he's a, he's a true gamer, <laughs> I don't want to lose my experience points. What's more important, saving your girlfriend or leveling up? He's like, man, leveling up, of course. They have been leveled down, yeah. He is prioritizing the game, you know. He's saving their lives by winning the game. But she's determined here. I mean, last week she was, of course, being bullied by the, the girls. Oh, they have like a serious dungeon here. Oh, they lost immediately, how somehow? What? 
Oh, throw them in the same, you know, uh, yeah, hentai cell here. <laughs> How did he even know that? So, okay, I guess it's like uh, status menu captured in prison or something. How did he, I don't know. He somehow knew that they were captured. Okay. Oh, he's gonna level up again? Wait, could they like re rank because he was like, went down the level so he could like go up again? Creature wizard? Oh, so it's like some kind of blue mage? No, maybe? Yeah, blue mage. Ah, blue mage! Uh, everything for me is a fantasy, but yeah, blue mage. So you can use the, the magic or like in better fire, we can look at the enemies. You can talk to monsters. This is awesome. No, but this sounds awesome. You can like, I can you can use the monster abilities like in Queen FF9 and so on. Yeah, which is the best kind of FF9, you know, with with uh, Queen has limit glow, limit pulse, what it's called. When you do damage based on your life point. So if you have Queen with one health, she, she can just do the shit and do you know multi ultimate damage every time. But anyway, this is the, this is the character from the opening though. But it might just be a random knight though. But can you hurt this person though? Because it's a human. Well. You didn't say the guns. <laughs> Sante! He's the worst porn ever! You didn't say. Will I finally have a girlfriend after this? Like, maybe if you have. Maybe if you have saved the girls. <laughs> he lost two, that was good, yeah. <laughs> but I wonder, could he fight the person in the tournament? I mean. This looks like the, yeah, the girl from the open, though, definitely. So maybe this is a character, though. Or maybe he's gonna recruit her anyway. Maybe you can recruit a girl, even if he's an easy guy. Maybe you can just actually get an honor human, right? Yeah, he's pathetic. But maybe you can get... She might be Isekai too, right? Or maybe she's an actual, just in-world in, in character that's gonna... Yeah, but... She should use the blue machine. She should use the made them... But it feels like she's gonna join. I mean, obviously the opening spoils that, so I guess she's gonna join the manway, even whatever she is. I mean, yeah, she's probably she could. Eat it. I like that they can also recruit non isekai characters. I guess then, if she's born in this world, but she could also still be an isekai character though. Okay, so if you kill a monster with me. But can she fight bandits? <laughs> is that allowed? Yeah, it's like a really weird... The system of this... The system of this world is weird, so... Can he now fight the band if he gets a quest to do it? Yeah, it's a weird system here, so... Can she fight all the humans because she's born in this world? Is he now allowed to fight them if he joins with her? I mean, there's a lot of like rules here that this is not really explained, right? Yeah, and she's like, you're a hero, pretty suck though, you're the useless hero. Oh, she can level him up. <laughs> like I said, a bad thing, the Holy Ghost. Well, I only have one horse or whatever, they, they, I don't need them. <laughs> I can hold a pickaxe or something. But yeah, he's befriending a new girlfriend here. He's like, he abandoned his previous girlfriend, so he got a new girlfriend. He's, yeah, he, unlo he unlocked the secret girlfriend, the non isekai girlfriend. The much, the better girlfriend that is stronger and better and actually can fight and so on, yeah. The way more effective girlfriend. Why is she even training him in sword stock? He can't even use swords. But like he's like a blue mage, to my understanding, which means he can learn monster abilities or you know control monsters like a tamer. So he he's like a, like a beast wizard, right? He's like a wizard of the monsters. He should utilize that and you know I don't know capture some trolls or something or capture I don't know some dragon and be like I have my own dragon and fight with that shit. Why is he I don't know try even doing this shit? Well, he's probably gonna join them given the openings here. Yeah, thousand swings per day, boy. You're gonna start training. Yeah, okay, you're gonna <laughs> get. And it's gonna save the girls at all. I kinda like it. It's bad to the poor girls completely. I only have one horse anyway, so 
Ja, det var helt sånn, det er ikke time for the hand stuff. Det er like, ja, 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 Wait, who are they sending ransom money to, though? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, who are they? Did they send ransom money to someone? We, we haven't seen anything about them even sending ransom money. We want that ransom money, but they have, have they like, required that from the village? So who, who is paying that? But yeah, she's gonna get killed, I guess, because she's like born in this world. So they need her to be in part of them, so they can fight evil humans. <laughs> yeah, they will need her to be able to fight them, right? He can't... Yeah, I guess he can... Okay, if you... Man, these roots are weird! He's allowed to counter or something? He's allowed to defend himself personally, so long as he's defending himself first. What? Very... Very, very specific here. Okay, it's a monster, I guess. They're coming here now, they're in the cage there, right? It'll be some kind of... Yeah, but I guess they're... Makwa, almost aqua. Is they almost aqua? Yeah, makwa. Okay, a makwa is an anime. That's pretty good. It's gonna be a troll or ogre or something. Maybe you can finally use that beast magic. Wait, it's like a guy? It's just like the. looks like the guy in, in Turtles. What? Is he a monster or a human? Okay, are they humans? A bird, sorry. It's a Viking! Okay. But is he then a human turning into a monster? What is he? I guess he's like a human turning into a monster. Well, uh, yeah, I guess he's like turning into a monster by eating. So what's the rules then? Can he fight this thing? <laughs> you know? I'm wondering what the rules. Can he fight the, the world sucker? Because it used to be human, is that allowed? <laughs> that was a good name, Swarm of Annihilation! Man, this woman is really hyped, yeah, she is like a famous uh, badass, oh, she has this like... Okay, she's gonna give her backstory when she fights him, because it's important for her to tell him... Yeah, she's like, oh, I, I wanna, I'm a crazy woman, that's why I do this. She's going in the darkness. I like it. I like it. She's off offensive darkness. She's darkness the opposite. She's darkness in reverse. She wants to cut people instead. Yeah. <laughs> she wants it. Yeah. Okay. She touched me. Come on. Fight. Use your freaking new wizard beast thing shit. It's time for him to use his new abilities. Or something. Well, he can do it. He can die anyway. I mean, the girls are safe. Here we go. Creature magic. Finally, he can be like, I can use my blue, blue magic stuff. Come on, do it, boy. Yeah, he can control him. Well, maybe we shouldn't kill him then. Maybe we should control him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have killed him though. Maybe you should be like, oh, I can control him. Perfect. I can use this guy to kill the humans. I would. Maybe you shouldn't have killed Berserker. You should have been like, per. I, mean, I have a Berserker now. Go and go and fight the humans for me. Yeah. Or, if that had counted though. But man, if he was this girl, he did it. He. I mean, it took him a few days to save them, and still they're fine inside. Man, it was some. Man, he's some bad bandits, man. If there was a hand stuff, the bandits would have some fun while they arrived, right? Yeah, and she's of course into it. She's the new part I remember. Kavelshan. And I'm a knight! <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's my portal partner now. I recruited her. I got a new friendship here, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so now apparently they're like, yeah, of course we're gonna help you. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 she's like, I wanna be part of the party, guys. I wanna be a hero, you know, I'm a night hero. Horses are pretty expensive. Yeah, and she's the darkness. I love it. She's the yeah, she's the darkness. She's like, yeah. Oh, she's all thirsty for it. Yeah, she's the warrior. She guys should need that, but I don't know if the the other girls will need that. I'm a magic girl. <laughs> I'm a mahojo. But some random guy with her. Man, these are useless. <laughs> yeah, this guy's like, oh, the heroes are so stupid, yeah. I feel his face like, oh, heroes. How can all be so bad at being heroes? It's like a car morph. He's like, let's go, yeah. <laughs> He's like, broom, 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 let's go with our bike here. Kavel Sean enters. She's like a little darkness there. I like it. Kav yeah, she's all like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna fight this monster and it's making me all thirsty. Like, okay. Quickly there, nothing there, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Going down, I guess, yes. Hmm. No, but it, it's kind of like, I like that you can, she was an easy car, yeah, I like that, oh, I like that a lot. Definitely. That she's like, not, you know, part of the... Not part of the team, yeah, I like that. Or part of the team, I no, guess, partly, but you know what I mean. Like, she's not part of the Isekai. She's actually just still managed to be uh, Isekai. Because, yeah, like in the party without actually being Isekai. So that's, that, that's good, that's good, yeah. That's really good. Because, I, I mean, before the episode, I absolutely expected her to just be the next girl, right? Like, that she was going to join them after they did the next quest. Like with the previous girls, right? But no, no, she actually just joined them. Uh, regardless of that, so that's nice. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, like that's interesting. Uh, you know, from a cast. So I like that. It's really weird the rules for the new No, I don't like that. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's arguably really weird in this anime. It's like, no, you can't fight humans, but if you attack you first, you can fight them. What? Yeah, it, th those kind of things are annoying. I think because it's interesting. It makes the game world just really suck, right? So you kind of feel for them how this game is. But at the same time, though, it also makes you feel like, man, this is so. You know, it's like it's just it's a weird rule setting that makes it harder for them to be heroes, and it's not really explained the rules. And it's kind of like the rules are very arbitrary. Oh, you're you're allowed to hurt the humans as long as he attacks you first, but if he attacks your your girlfriend or your partner member, you can't save her from being attacked or something. Like if she has to do it personally, like yeah, that that kind of stuff. That to me is is very strange in the anime, right? It's somewhat good, but it's also kind of like well. This makes no sense. Like, how does it actually work? You know. So I think that is that is hard in this anime to. You definitely wonder like what, what's gonna happen and so on. Yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, but I think the word arbitrary is the best thing. It feels like, you know, why is the rule like this? But then the rule changes to this thing, right? So you kind of wonder what what is the rules here? What what is, what is, what is happening, right? Um, so that definitely is strange in this anime, and I, I do wonder. Uh, every time, you know, you, you wonder, can she hurt humans, I guess, because she's not part of an isekai party, so she gets XP from that, but could he, hurt, could he hurt her in the tournament? Would that be allowed? Or would it also be against the rules if you hurt her in the tournament, even if he's fighting her in an official tournament? Or is he now allowed to hurt them because he got like a quest from the guild to hurt them? So is it fine now, right? So, so you, you, know, you know what I mean. So it, it really is like a hard thing to, uh, to judge, right? It is hard thing to judge. Yeah, and that's the anime. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I liked that she wasn't. I really liked that she wasn't part of the party. Yeah, that was interesting that she wasn't part of the. I mean, you know what I mean. She's part of the party now, but she's not part of the Isekai party. She's, she's like a random party member from the from the actual world, like a companion. Yeah, that's interesting. That's different than usually, so that's cool. Uh, anyway, see you guys with more anime course coming out sorted today.